gang, big news. The RU Garbage Middle Class Famous Tour is coming to California and you don't gotta wait long, baby. We're gonna be in San Francisco on April 3rd. We're gonna be in Los Angeles, California, April 4th. And April 6th, we're gonna be in La Jolla. So grab the squad and come out and see us. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is R.U. Garbage. Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, mm -hmm. and we find out they grow up to be classy. Yeah. Or they're just a big old piece of trash. trash, trash I'm your host, Age Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here in Aunt Tootie's basement. Uh -huh. She's upstairs switching from vodka to gin. Okay. Solidarity. So look at that right there. <laughs> We're all doing our part over here. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. He is the brand new hot driver in the NASCAR Sprint Series. If you ain't first, if you ain't first you're last. <laughs> Going to be running at the Motor Speedway this weekend. I'm a dirt track man myself. <laughs> Driving the, the double zero Paps car. Give it up. <laughs> give it up for Colt Ryan, everybody. What are you doing? I'm living my best life, baby. You know, got to support the brand. It's American brand. Got to support. Got to support, you know. What I'm doing. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are Turn the roof. cooking. Uh, and obviously, uh, Patreon.com, the greatest website of all time. Shout out to them boys. Sweet Lord. And gals over there doing the fucking Lord's work. You sign up, you get bonus content. Episodes of AYG, which uh, episodes of Hard Feelings, which is me and a big man behind a curtain a little bit more, a little HR, a little airing of the grievances. Sticking each other. Uh, check it out. It's a good time. Thank you. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man makes us all look good. It's T-Bone McScruffins, Toby McButtons, everybody. What up, dudes? What Good up, T-Bone? Dude, Kippy looks like he brings his own helmet to the go-kart. <laughs> I, I got a mic in there. <laughs> you, Where the hell's my pit crew at? <laughs> you, you fall in both worlds. It could be cool, uh -huh. or you also looked at the guy like the guy that goes to every Met game. <laughs> You're that guy. You look like you got that jacket out of a claw machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty expensive claw machine. <laughs> this isn't a chalk line original, by the way. This guy's walking around like a drunk astronaut. Look at you. <laughs> it stinks. Uh, that has screaming a T-ball written all over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, big fan of Paps. I was watching Tal Digging Nights last night. That's a good fucking piece of business. Got that. Uh, yeah, it got me pumping. I was like, you know what? I got to break it out today. Been waiting. Been waiting for the perfect moment to break this out. Yeah? Yeah. Where did you get it? Online. Chalkline.com. What credit card did you apply for to uh, to, to, <laughs> to, to receive this? I put item. this on the business Amex, by the way. I'm wearing it on screen. It's a wardrobe cost. How, how many Paps caps did you have to send in for it? Paps caps. Are you going to get the Kia wrapped in Pap shit? <laughs> I would if they would pay for it. I would drive a fucking Paps Kia around town. Man, remember when that started happening? Dude, if Paps would sponsor our tour or us in general. This is a power play I'm doing here. <laughs> this is a money play, all right? And you, two, you two are sitting around thinking I'm a bozo. They're not touching the Jeep. You can admit it's a goddamn lease. What are yeah, you doing? Right. I'm going well, to have paps on your forehead next week. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be selling out your fucking belly. You're going to be doing this shirtless. Patty's walking around head to toe, paps. Um, last. Do you remember when that... I kind of feel like I remember what? when that really started to happen. Like... Uh, like around role models time when people were like selling their car, like people were driving around in like Monster Energy drink a lot of cars. Like br a lot of brand. That was when like brand reps were big, huge. Dude, the I beer rep would show up. Yeah, oh, but like people would God. like freelance as the as the reps. You know what I mean? They would be like, like I, I used to work when I was like in an office job, and like girls on the weekends would be like. I'm doing a whatever event. They would make like 120 bucks giving out like Monster or whatever, like stand at the tent or whatever. Man, some PT Cruiser wrapped like Fig Newtons. The big, the trashiest <laughs> wrapped like Fig Newtons. That's the perfect car to wrap for a Newton is a fucking PT loser. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something on the Newton subject. I've, I've recently uh, rekindled. My love affair for the Fig Newton. Sure, but the not, healthy cookie. But not, not what you're thinking. Not I'm the having Fig one Newton. At, I'm having dickhead. one at a time. It's the nature ones. They're real thick. They're like double stuff. Mm -hmm. Blueberry, fucking nice. Gluten free too, so it's fantastic. Uh, yeah, you'll be under four hundo in no time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the Fig Newton diet. Yeah. Once can you come and be like, carrots are good, everybody. I'm a <laughs> big carrot guy. I had carrots this weekend. They yeah. were delicious. Deep fried in butter. 
Um, yeah. But the trashiest rap, is that where we were? The trashiest rap was the Hummer. People would rap the Hummer. Like, fuck it. Especially, like, or, like, every strip club in Philly, down at, like, down by the airport, like, that run, they all had the Hummer. They would show up to, like, the tailgating events with, like, fucking chicks with cannons. And, like, there would be, like, little kids. I remember. Come I remember, filing at the back. Yeah, I remember catching some of those as a kid. That's real like, pro, bo- pro Bowl vibes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pro Bowl weekend in <laughs> yeah. fucking Arizona. Girls girls twerking next to a bag of <laughs> fucking tournament. That shit's trash. The, the, the strip club limo decked yeah. out yeah. is a tough look. The, the Hummer strip limo. Strip club anything, uh, not a, anything from a strip club, club outside in public is a tough look. Have you ever had them send the limo for you? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, send the limo for me. <laughs> the, the, like, what am I, a big spender? I'm in there picking pennies up, p- picking dollars that these broads are dropping. I'm splashing around in the puddles when people are making it rain. 50 cents a dance Ryan over here. <laughs> <laughs> One of those little change coins. Honey, honey, folding money only. <laughs> Can you break a five? <laughs> folding, what is this, Deadwood? <laughs> <laughs> Paper bills or tea or trays or tea bills. How do you uh, on what? on on that similar line? How do you feel about the uh, the courtesy car from the dealership? That's a tough look. It is a real tough look. And listen, I'm a Kia man. That's what I can afford at this current state in my career. I drive a Kia. The thing, and I, I, I'm not a. I've never really been a lug. I've never driven. I don't think I've. I think I've driven a BMW. My buddy's BMW. I think uh, I've driven that, but. He's gotten it where a lot of those BMW dealerships, if your car goes in, it's imported. You got to, you know, I got to import all the products. It's tough. It's not like that's a different. Car. But that says I, I would be pissed if I spent money on a I'm BMW. I'm talking about like Jamie Kennedy Chevrolet. Well, that's what I'm saying. No, they do that on the Beamers. It'll say like fucking, <laughs> you know, Edison, New Jersey. Fuck. Oh, no, of course. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah I would be pissed if I paid for a Beamer and you give me a fucking I'm driving around in a wrapped car. You look like a fucking <laughs> asshole. I spent enough money. I'm not. Dr- I'm not your fucking billboard on on 95. I would be fucking pissed. You mean the renter that they give you? Yeah, they give you the loaner car, I and it gotcha. says like Johnson BMW. Yeah, no, that's no good. At the auto mall, I'm, kick rocks. I'm talking about the one where 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 a dealership guy drives that and picks you up and brings you back in a Beamer. That's okay. No, that's worse than a Beamer. You're I driving don't... a luxury car that has like on the back windshield. Like Johnson's BMW. Well, my mom That's used real trash. My mom used it last week for her car, and the guy picked her up in like a '96 Windstar. So oh. I'll take the fucking BMW. <laughs> Spray paint over the name. I'm looking at the window. She's Wait, where was she going? She was going to pick the car up after it got serviced. Oh, and they came to pick her up, like a shuttle, not like the loaner car. It was like a shuttle car, just like some some fucking poor schmuck on his lunch break. They were like, "Go pick up Patty." That's what happened. Smoking it here? What? <laughs> <laughs> I smoke it. Crack the window. <laughs> Stop being a pussy. <laughs> oh, dude. Using dude. the car lighter still? I remember that guy showing up a couple of times throughout my life when the car was in the shop or something like that. We never. Ooh. Yeah, we're, they, this is where we differ, our family. We were in a dealership. That's where they fucking bamboozle. Ah, dude, I get nervous driving by a dealership. We're used we're front, cars. Front lawn by the mailbox. Yeah, people. we're person to person. Yeah, We're, we don't do that. I love when they pull a car out right by the mailbox. It's all it's, it's funny. It's washed. funny you say that. So my stepdad ran into some car trouble recently, and his was uh, his was out of commission for a while. Mm-hmm. So his buddy has a used car lot. So he bought a used car off this guy because it was supposed to take like. <laughs> Lot versus dealership yeah. is a huge difference. Yeah. We're, that's what I'm saying. We're a lot family. It's really like the guy's house. It's a trail. It ain't like college and university. No. You know what I mean. No. It's a couple of pegs down. Yes. Go over there in the lot. That's where Yikes. I've got, that's where I've gotten every car is off from this guy. My picture's on the wall in his little office. that has. It's like me next to the Lumina and me next to my Montego. We don't, but to going into a dealership. And he's standing cool. there running the odometer backwards. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he's got the back propped up. Wheels are just spinning. Three miles. It's an 86. <laughs> Belong to an old lady. It was garage kept. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dealership's nuts to me. We would never. You got to know a guy. You don't buy to us, if you buy a car off a dealership, oh, we always, who do you think's paying for all the coffee and donuts? We always you knew a guy. Bozo. We always knew a guy. But we never. There was always somebody working for somebody. Also, to get a, I guess if you were leasing too, but to get it fixed, we would never go to a dealership to get it fixed. 
we would just let it sit in the driveway for six months until the neighbors complained that my stepdad finally pulled the trigger on it. Maybe the holes will rust up. So his car was jammed up, right? Mm-hmm. For, it was going to be like months, they said. Months? Yeah, I don't want to get into it. <laughs> it was going to be a long time. Some engine problems. <laughs> So, I got to go to physical therapy. He's got months. He's, <laughs> who's, <laughs> he's out to highway driving to begin with. That's it. Not a lot of starting and stopping for three weeks. Months. Yeah. So, well, that's what they said. They're like, this is going to, they had to like redo the whole engine or something. He bought a lemon, I guess. Bought a, it's a huge truck, huge pickup truck. So, redo the engine. Something happened. And so he bought a used car off his, off this buddy who has the lot. Sure. Right? Of like, well, I'll just zip around in this until my fucking. It's it was like an Audi he bought for like six grand. It's like okay. a, like a ninety or like it might be like a ninety nine Audi or whatever. Audi, that's good. Yeah, probably all beat up. It's a convertible. It's not it's like, nice. It doesn't make any sense that this guy's <laughs> driving this. Fuck. He looks like he's in the mob, Russian mob or something. So I was just on the phone with my mom yesterday. He goes, "Oh, his truck's finished early. You know, whatever. It wasn't as bad as they anticipated. He can, he can go pick it up." I go, well, "What's he gonna do with the Audi?" He goes, ah, "He's gonna park it out for, out front of his office with a for sale sign on it. Wow, and see if anybody if he gets any takers. Flipping it. So real we're currently quick. we're car- if anybody out there's in the in the market for a beat up Audi. Hey, it's probably not that beat up. Don't listen to Kevin. It probably looks nice and it's a convertible. And don't forget, springtime's right around the corner. That's what he said. He goes, "I'm gonna wait for the first nice nice day and put the top." Yeah. down. Yeah, there really you show go. off the merchandise. This kid's sharp. I'll tell you that right now. Between that and lottery tickets, this guy's a gentleman in my yeah, eyes. I'll tell you that right yeah, yeah, yeah. now. Yeah, I so like we're currently it. selling our own cars at the moment. <laughs> if anybody's curious, it says six thousand OBO. Uh, it comes as is, by the way. Those sig holes were in it. Sullivan Ryan Motors. <laughs> Sullivan You're... Ryan Kelly Motors. What's the giveaway situation on the weekends? <laughs> you get you get you get twenty seconds in the cash booth. <laughs> You grab as many singles as you can. Free hot dogs for the kids. Come on down. <laughs> That's where you got the jacket from. Man, you've been playing. You've been playing this all week. Both haven't sides you? against the middle. Oh, shit. This guy's uh, always making money. <laughs> Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. You look like you're about to take the shot from center ice into the little hole. <laughs> And it's back to your mail route. <laughs> I'm walking all slow from the bench. <laughs> Easy does it, Kippy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that jacket came with a big check. <laughs> it's written in glitter, Jiggy. <laughs> you want to talk about a home run? <laughs> the moonshot. <laughs> Shout out to Semi Pro. <laughs> if you haven't, head down to the video store and pick yourself up a copy. It's a killer. It's a hoot. Oh, gang. <laughs> you stink. <laughs> Oh, you could never wear that again, you know that, right? I can pepper it in. Oh, man. Let's come from the guy who wears the same clothes every single day to the point where you said you smell like a homeless man. And you're allegedly. <laughs> also, someone commented you thought it was the juices inside of you. That's what you said. The juices inside of you went bad. I th- I think so. Yeah, no. Because of because of what I've been eating. My sweat isn't as pure as it was when I was a young man. <laughs> it's pure, yeah. It's, yeah, I guess this is some high quality shit we're talking. This is unstepped on H. Foley juice we're talking. You're an idiot. Well, what you eat determines how your sweat smells and tastes. I don't, I don't know if that's the case. Yeah, it does. That's why if you eat like garlic, it, sm- it tastes like garlic. Yeah, sure. Okay, garlic. Yeah. I don't think the juices inside of you were bad. Plus, there's a thing. You also said you didn't watch those fucking basketball shorts for like <laughs> six months, which I think that might be the problem if we're fucking splitting hairs. Who those things, babe? <laughs> Kate puts. Oh, man. It's Ooh. insane that anybody shares a bed with you. It's crazy. Poor girl. Oh, my God. All right. What let's, do you got? Let's get into some questions, guys. So as you know, when you sign up for the Patreon, we will read your garbage question on the mm-hmm. air. Uh, it's just the best way to do it. We can hit up fucking people. DM on Instagram, Twitter, email. But uh, Patreon gets first crack at it. And uh, we got a couple. Of, this one's just funny. This is from Lig of My Balls. <laughs> first time. I, like, I can't take him serious. <laughs> You're calling a, calling a Cubs game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you like a dad trying too hard. <laughs> at what? <laughs> He's tr- trying to get his children's affection. 
Yeah, you got your kids at the batting cages, nine o'clock on a Wednesday. Yeah. I'm throwing heat too. <laughs> <laughs> That's my plate. Tr- That's my plate, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking giving them the high. I'm buzzing them. <laughs> I own the inside. Hey, 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 my son or not, I own the inside of that plate. You walk into the batting cage and turn the machine off. <laughs> <laughs> I got it from here. I got. I got half of it on. I was. Gonna, I was I'm keeping say. it warm. <laughs> Come to me on the Patreon, I'm all iced up. Full, full pack of seeds in your mouth. <laughs> Looking like the big league Stop chew being a guy. pussy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbin's racing. Good Lord. Kip, let's talk about movement, baby. Movement. You know movement. You got a watch. I got a watch. I got sunglasses. I got, got glasses. Sunglasses. Cool stuff. Started out small department. Couple of college buddies wanted to take on the big boys. And that's how movement was born. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic, cool looking stuff for half the price. Yeah. Uh, movement watches have the look and quality of four to $500 watches that you're paying for at a department store, but at a fraction of the cost. Fraction. Because they were built online and their own process from start to finish. You get a beautiful watch shipped right to your door for free. And if you don't love it, you can ship it back for free as well. Nice. Big thing they also got, they got the blue light glasses. Everybody's spending so much time on your computer, your phone, the whole nine yards. Their Everscroll blue light filtering glasses are a game changer. My wife uses them every day when she's working. It really helps with eye strain and poor sleeping patterns. And you'll love the modern look of the frames. They don't look, you're not sitting there in like 3D goggles. They look like regular cool guy frames uh, yeah. or cool gal frames. You know My what I mean? My lady's got a pair of them as well. If you want to elevate the look and look with style that doesn't break the bank, then join Movement and get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to MVMT.com slash garbage. Again, that's MVMT.com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Butcher box, baby. Butcher box, butcher box, butcher box. Butcher box. I got a fridge full of meat. Butcher box. Meat Look too. out. Still yeah. got some ground beef in there. Yeah. Stuff is fantastic. I got some patties. Makes a nice bolognese, that ground beef they got. Mm-hmm. Gang, butcher box delivered right to your door. Top quality meats. Talking salmon, talking pork chops, talking chicken, talking beef, talking steaks. Top shelf stuff. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Everything is 100, 100% grass fed, free organic range chicken, wild caught seafood, and more. Wild caught. Source- wild caught. Uh, their, their sourcing decisions are made holistically, keeping the farm, the planet, the animal, and family all in mind. Look at that. Every month, Butcher Box ships a curated selection of high-quality meat right to your home, free shipping in the continental USA, USA, no antibiotics, no hormones. Each box contains 8 to 14 pounds of meat, depending on what box you choose. Let's go. Uh, you can customize your own box or go with one of theirs. It's easy peasy. Either way you want, either, either way you get exactly what you want. This is your chance to never have to shop for ground beef again. That's right. Butcher Box is giving. This is nuts. Members, free ground beef for life. We told them they're crazy. Pull that box. Butcher Box is giving members free ground beef for life plus a $10 off coupon. Sign up at butcherbox.com slash AYG and get two pounds of ground beef in every order for the life of your membership. <laughs> That's a bananas. <laughs> uh, plus a $10 coupon off. Go to butcherbox.com slash AYG to claim this deal. Do it. Do it. All right. Uh, this is from Liga My Balls. First time, long time. Is it garbage to have a picture of dogs playing poker in your house? <laughs> to me, that was like art. We're not a big art family. For about two weeks in the spring of 88, it was. Yeah. And it went downhill quick. <laughs> it was like those Billy Big Mouth bass. No, no. This was at least like Billy Big Mouth bass was fucking hillbillies and rednecks. That's not there. That's not the same. This was at least a drawing of some sort. I don't know. Uh, to- Would you put the dogs in the poker picture in the in the same thing as talking Billy about the Big- one with the bulldogs? One's got a cigar in his mouth. He's yeah, got his nose dog. got his nose wide open. <laughs> he got his nose wide open at the roulette table. <laughs> <laughs> he's asking for a fifty k marker. They're turning them down. Uh, <laughs> no, but only because I think it's generational. It's like the dogs poker is more eighties to me. Big mouth Billy Bass. That's like ninety nine, early two thousand. Yeah, but the big mouth, the the big mouth. There was no bass, endearing quali- like the There was no artistic that's... endearing qualities about it. At the first, the dogs playing poker was actually yeah. Yeah, you would find that in like a uh, like a Cheers type establishment. Exactly. Sure. Yeah, okay. The big mouth Billy Bats is for fucking I complete, mouth breathers. I completely <laughs> and Polly Walnuts. Ah, it's pretty funny though. I'll tell you that. What? We, oh, we had one for sure. My vice. Sure you did. My stepdad got it for Christmas from his mom. That was a big. You know, hey, we got one. You know. 
man. Yeah. You ever seen one of those? Those nineties were tough for us. Running on low batteries. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like he's on pro- Sounds like he's on promethazine. <laughs> yeah, the lubes are setting in. I don't know what they're dumping hey, in that river. Lay off the fucking scissor, will you, Billy? <laughs> <laughs> Must be his later stuff. <laughs> His last uh, tour. This one's a little mean, but conditionally we, funny. We like mean. This is from TJ. Know anyone that went blind or deaf? <laughs> that's tough. If it was a medical reason, that's not fun. But if it's an accident, it's a little different. I'm thinking fireworks. That's, oh, I was thinking that's what goes to my mind. Welding no mask. Yeah, something like get a bad case of welder's eye. <laughs> that's what I was. I was thinking more like. Quarter sticks of dynamite were involved. <laughs> Losing fingers and stuff. That is pretty bad, man. How <laughs> 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 do we got to cut that? That's no. Terrible. no, obviously not a medical condition. Of course of not. Course. This is in the vein of the show. It's more accidental fucking dumbass shit. Here's a step down from this. Do you know anybody that ever blew anything off with a firework? Uh, no, not... Lost a finger? Specific. I got a fucking... I got, I'm surprised you have all your fingers and toes. <laughs> little fucking pyromaniac. Yeah. I got one in the eye. I caught a firecracker in the eye. Pretty First of all, firecracker is trash. Yeah. Or fireworks. No, it was a firecracker. What's the difference? A firework goes in the air. A firecracker is like a fucking M80. Ah, uh, you know the difference, huh? Do I know that. I used to pedal this stuff. <laughs> what are you talking about? I had a connect. And that My jacket. dad would go south of the border every year. <laughs> fucking come home with a couple of fucking cherry bombs. <laughs> a couple at, of mortars, too. You look at yourself and snakes and silly binders. <laughs> You're going to stand there owning a fire. I just watched a little bit of Joe Dirt yesterday. Good flick as well. Um, really, crack, I got, really cracking the books over there, huh? <laughs> this guy. I got the dog. We can't leave the fucking house. This thing don't have all of his shots yet. This little hellhound running around. I'm calling Plus, out. you told us that you're fucking 40 episodes in the Yellowstone, too. Yeah. This guy's stretching it out. <laughs> you can't leave the house with this fucking thing. All jammed up. <laughs> um... I got a M8 or a firecracker. Not an M80. No, it was a firecracker. In the eye, I think I've saw. I, I'm sure I've said this. At probably the, at some point, it lit and then went out, and then like picked back up in this kid's so hand. So what? You stick it in your eye? No, this kid had it in his hand, uh-huh. and it like lit and went and then fizzled. And he's like, "Oh shit, give me the lighter back." And as he's holding it, it fucking re-upped like down by down by the like it was about to fucking go off, <laughs> and he went ah and threw it, and I was standing across from him, and it exploded like here. And fucking, I couldn't open my eye for like two days. Oh, man. Yeah, it was fucking bad. You must have been bugging out. Oh, dude, my stepmom's like, something. she knew something was up. I was like, yeah, I'm just real tired because I couldn't open my eyes. <laughs> fucking. Half your head's blown. <laughs> <laughs> it's all black. <laughs> my hair's all popped up. <laughs> the hell happened to you? Nothing! I'm screaming. <laughs> Upstairs to get my homework started. <laughs> it's, it's August. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I finally broke down and told her because I was just acting like I was. I was laying. I was freaking out. It was one of those things. Where, <laughs> Your eyes not moving. <laughs> you know, one of the. I I think the the theory, the working theory that day from her was I blew a chunk of the white part off, which can happen. I think. She's not an optometrist <laughs> legally, but that was that was her take. She on can't it. see. <laughs> no, who knows? <sighs> Man, it was one of those things. You know that panic when you're like, you're so scared. I was scared I was going to lose my vision, obviously, but you don't want to say it out loud because then it comes true. You know what I mean? No. I'm like, if I can just close, keep my eyes closed for 48 hours, I'll get through this thing. <laughs> It was bad. I got hit in the rocket. Uh, <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Your little red rocket? I got hit. <laughs> Took a mule kick to the nuts. Um, I got hit in the head with a rock when I was a little kid. And uh, it was like in the evening. And I tried to just go right in and go upstairs and go to bed. I think my mom came in. Like, End up in a bathtub. Went, mom came in half hour later. My whole bed was like covered in blood. What the fuck? Tomato sauce. Is he pasta again? <laughs> I thought I could sleep it off. 
Did you, uh, when you were younger, did you guys ever hit rocks with bats? Of course. We would have, we called them dirt clods, but they were like dirt, like dirt rocks. Hard clay. Yeah, kind of, when they were doing construction. Mud rocks, we called them. <laughs> yeah. I think dirt clods was from like a show at the time. We'd have straight we'd... fights with those things. Oh, yeah, and every now and then a fucking yeah. piece of quartz would be in there. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking turn the lights off for a second. <laughs> That's what happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> Good old fashioned dirt fight turns bad. My brother hit me with one. Mm-hmm. Turns out it was a corked bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, been there. Um, <laughs> Two pounds of coal in there. <laughs> That's a fucked up question. Yeah. Um, Let's see. This one is from Devin Lopez. Have you ever used whiteout on your sneaks after cleaning them because the tough marks wouldn't come out? I respect the move. I to do too. If it looks you. okay, I don't respect. I get it if you're jammed up, but there's no way it looks good from like maybe 20 feet away. You're like, if I'm, I'm looking at T-bone shoes, they look white. You get closer, and then you're gonna have to answer to that. That's I bad. think on leather and like the thick Nike whites, you you, you, you could pass. You know what's a goddamn miracle tool? That I don't know what the fuck it's made of. Let me of. guess. What? Magic eraser. I with the fucking Mr. Clean things, <laughs> the white John? What the fuck? I don't fuck? know what the fuck that is. What's you ever in seen? that? Uh, dude, it'll take anything off of anything. I'll fix your credit. <laughs> fucking make make anything go away. I got a 780. Dude, I'm telling you. Yeah. It's a little water on that thing. I don't get it, man. I, I think it's rubbing off on there. I think that's all it is, is a big chunk of whiteout. <laughs> just covers it up. Yeah, that's what they're doing. It's insane. Uh, no. I don't know what. The, I remember when that dropped. My mom had them, and that was like, they, they should have been behind glass, like only using in case of emergency. Because right they were still right, probably right like. Right next to the Eden or whatever yeah, it's called. They were probably still like 12 bucks a clip for like two of them, you know. Now they're like two, three bucks. Mm. But back then, that was like. That was brand, don't fucking use those. Brand new technology. Now there's like the generic versions and shit. You can get a couple, but they're not as good. No. That magic eraser, man. Mr. Clean. You know what works? Crack the code. On he, was shoes on his, as well. he was on his last legs, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah he needed that. No, nobody he was using that. that shit. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Um, toothpaste on shoes, too. Toothpaste and a toothbrush. Shh, shh. That's how you used to clean your Earth first ones back then in high school. Toothpaste on a coal sore, too, works pretty good. Yeah, you dry it out. So I've heard. Dry it out. <laughs> yeah, dry it out. Ah, man. Cut yourself shaving again, huh? Yeah. Okay. Full beard. I got punched <laughs> by a herpy. Every three to six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting punched in my genitals. <laughs> Just flaring up in here, is it me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this one's from McLivin. Uh, how many boogers are under the driver's seat of your car? Mine is like sandpaper down there. Ooh. Yeah. Yikes. I, I'm assuming yours isn't great. Out the window, I flick, I roll, I flick like a gentleman. There's no way I believe that. Yeah. No. I'll flick it in my car. I'm not putting it under my thing, like wiping them off. I, I mean, it's not gum. Listen, I'm pretty, my car's been pretty good. There's a, there's you, a couple you, of stalactites you, down there you, for you sure. Got, you got a couple of mine in there, too. Um, yeah. You're not looking on the highway? <laughs> I do a little digging. Oh, hey, I'm going to check and see what's going on with. Uh, you have to mark my territory. You're never allowed back in my car ever again, (laughs) ever again. That's too fucking good. The thought of your boogers. We've been in more almost fistfights over your boogers than anything else. It's a point of contention. I know. It's me trying to stay as far away from your boogers as possible. And they're constantly encroaching on my personal space. (laughs) It's like trench warfare with you. Every day they move a little bit closer. We call truce on Christmas. All right, this one's a uh, this one's actually a pro move to me. This is from Scott. Is it garbage to order pickup from the restaurant your roommate is currently working at, but never pick it up so he can take it home for free? Woo! That's putting the whole fucking system on trial. That is wow. That's something I would have never ever thought about. Damn, that's like that's that's, that's like white collar crime. That's yeah. Talk about cooking the book. Jesus. Yeah. There's, a, there's accomplices in that. If you're doing that a lot, though, it's fucked up to the restaurant. They can afford a burrito or a fucking side of chicky fingers. Maybe. Probably. I doubt you're stealing. Mean, you know, what if it's an Applebee's? They can afford them. Fuck them. You're stealing from a fucking mom and pop shop who's trying to, you know, keep and en- make ends Put meet. Put the kids through college, sure. Yeah, but if it's a fucking Friday's, 
fucking pot stickers all day. Let's go. Yeah, fucking open it up. I'd be pissed. Open up the pipeline. <laughs> yeah, shit. <laughs> Get the black market cooking. <laughs> Broccoli and cheese. Let's do it. Uh, That's genius. Yeah, I've never even fucking thought about that. Um, all right, this one's from An- Andy Feathersnatch. Haven't had a question <laughs> right yet. I think it's Dr. Andy Feathersnatch. Is it garbage to sign your buddy up for a ton of free magazines, car, cruise ship giveaways so he gets bombarded with mail and phone calls? That's good old-fashioned fun. Yeah. That's a good time. It's a lot, though. It's a dick. Dick move, but a good old... That's that's all right. When's the last time we saw a magazine? We get them. You get do? The the uh, the bird, she's, you know, an aristocrat. What are you, a Southern Living House? Nah, the New Yorker. Really? Yeah. I thought you were lying when you told me that. No. Nah. You get the New Yorker, what's that come, once a week? I don't even know. They're still all in the mailbox. Really? I don't, I don't empty the mail. I, I open the mailbox, I make sure there's no packages in there, and sometimes that... <laughs> We have this, you know, this rough, rough, rough broad who just is like fucking uppercut packages into my box because they're so, it's so Take full. Take it out. What are you doing? I don't check the mail. There's nothing in there for me except bad news. You want money. I ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? Interesting articles in the New Yorker. Plus yeah. the funny cartoons. So we get, to, we get to New Yorker. There's a couple in there. There's a, I think it probably monthly, the New Yorker. I'd have to assume. Yeah. I'm not cranking that out every day. I don't, I don't even know if she reads it. Yeah. Trying to look cool for the neighbors. I get it. Yeah. Flex on them. Uh, my New Yorker. Somebody see my New Yorker? <laughs> yeah. By the way, we lost another package. I think the thief Ooh. might be back. <laughs> also, by the way, this, this is a hot. little off tangent, but have you seen our friend Reggie Conquest's stories of some guy broke into his uh, building and stole all of the packages? Mm-hmm. And then he was he put it all on Instagram, and then they, they pulled the surveillance Oh, cameras. yeah, he was, like, trying to shit yeah, on. He, dude, he walked right out front, opened up all the packages, and was, like, holding the shirts up to him on his, like, it was like, all right, this dude, he was doing he was doing the pants and, like, putting the leg out to make sure it fits. <laughs> yeah, he's like, imagine the confidence this motherfucker has to start trying it on right out front. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, they're fucking, they're, they're relentless with that shit. I know. They peeked into my uh, paper towels yesterday, see what was in there. Who? I don't know. Oh. I the same guy. Wait, you're on, you're on, oh, you order paper towels? Yeah, she orders paper towels. <laughs> Why'd you answer it like that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we, do, we, do, we, do, we do the Amazon. Uh, like monthly like subscription? No, we're not fucking, I'm not subscribed to paper towels. <laughs> a lot of people do that. Wait, I, I, I just subscribe to cat food. I think, yeah. I got a, I think I got a monthly. That's for him. I think I got a monthly. With, <laughs> <laughs> no commercials or nothing. <laughs> Fucking Bounty Plus? No. Yeah, a lot of people do that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to get one in there for a couple of seconds. <laughs> um, the Amazon fucking, I don't know. We, I don't know. We had to spend 35 bucks, though. Yeah. So she got paper towels and some Perrier's. <laughs> okay. Fucking fancy pants. No wonder you were hitting me up for the YouTube money yesterday. <laughs> this guy's fucking. You're getting sparkling water delivered to your house? Well, I also had a shipment of. Uh, this guy, come I, on. I had a shipment of st- uh, stormtroopers that came in. I got a squad. I got six Where of them. They sleep in. I, <laughs> <laughs> I ordered them in a Mandalorian. And they all got there safely. What are we doing? They got there safely, but I was worried about they were going to steal them downstairs. That'd be a jackpot. <laughs> you open it up, it's all toys. Fucking bastards. But they ripped the one part of the box to see that it was just uh, paper towels and left it alone. Took a roll, but what are you going to do? <laughs> hey, you can't hate. You got to wet your beak. I get it. Stealing packages is a hard job. Uh, I would love to catch one of those. It doesn't bother me. In the building would bother me. that, Like I said, I, I'd have to live with them, but. Other than that, I don't give. Like I mean, if I was Reggie, someone's coming in under like a delivery driver fucking guise and stealing fucking you know my dog treats. Fucking take them. I don't care. Uh, I don't like that shit. If, that's, if I was Reggie and saw that dude out front, yeah, that'd be a fucking problem. Did you ever see the videos where people go up on the porch? Until and I saw get, some nickel. The guy opens the door with nickel. Like where the fuck you go? Like oh shit! And they fucking take <laughs> oh, off yeah, running down the street. About. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I love watching the videos where they like fall and slip and one pulls away. Uh-huh. That's such a scum, fucking, uh, such a dirtbag fucking move. Not really, because it gets replaced. You're really ripping off big business. It's a white collar crime. Not if you're waiting on something. They're like Robin Hood. No, they're not. not They're not giving that out in the neighborhoods like turkeys. Yeah, but they're stealing from the the big guy. They're stealing from you. You bought, you paid for that. Yeah, but then they get replaced. It's my goddamn stormtrooper. It gets replaced. I want to play with my toys. 
If I go home expecting it to be there and it's not there, I'm going to be upset. Especially if it's my Perrier. Well, you can cry using your paper towels and <laughs> relax with a fucking Perrier. <laughs> what kind of pair? Plain? Or you go lemon? No. Uh, these are you what? order a box of them? I said, it's like a fucking... They're cans, first of all. They're little European cans. Is peach. Peach, yeah, we had peach. What, are you guys having parties without me? What the <laughs> fuck? the fuck is this shit came over for dinner is it the jacket i'll take it off right now i'll take it off <laughs> you guys are hanging out having sparkling waters no wonder uh-huh. why you weren't with me on trashing them on the sparkling waters <laughs> you're up to your fucking ears in them you guys are over there swimming in fucking peach peach perrier T-bones. i'm drinking fucking asta manana pure life <laughs> what the fuck is this what is this? You think you you think you're partners with these guys? T Bone's bought and paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> On a subscription basis too. Damn. It's like an oligarch over there. I got him. I got him cornered. <laughs> doing my bidding. <laughs> start putting sanctions on T Bone. Listen. What? I'm gonna put. How about I start putting some economic fucking sanctions on you? That's what I'm gonna do. Listen. <laughs> I haven't I'm done anything do. wrong. <laughs> yeah, you haven't done anything right either, though. Listen. Uh, there's little, the little cans, mm-hmm. the, like, I don't know, like packs of 12. I got a watermelon, a peach, and I got a thing of LaCroix, too. The Crocs. Nice. Mm-hmm. Drinking, right. I'm drinking a shitload of that stuff. Okay. I don't, is it good for you? Is it okay? I know it's better than Chuda, but is it okay for you? Uh, yeah. I've been it's really, them. it's really bad for your teeth, they say. It really, that's what, a, that that's right? what a dentist told me. It really takes the enamel off your teeth. Really? And it's even worse if you drink it and then brush. Because it loosens it, it softens it, and then you brush it away. That's what they told me. Mm. But I could have been that one dentist who doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, no shit. He could have been, your... been the one out of ten. Yeah, the guy who doesn't like... sign off on Colgate. The guy who doesn't like Trident. Yeah, yeah no yeah. shit. Fucking Idiot. Bozos. I can't be worried about that. What? Uh, enamel? That's that. Buddy, no, 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 enamel no. is on the bottom of your list. What? Carbonated water even can still lead to erosion into your tooth enamel. Lead to doesn't necessarily happen, uh, but is better than uh, but is a better option than drinking soda. Of course. Yeah. I remember the dentist asked me. She's like, "Yeah, your enamel, you know, whatever." She goes, "Do you drink a lot of diet soda or soda?" I said, "Soda." I said, "Diet." Like trying to like that's all right. She's like, how many? I'm like, I don't know, six a day. What are we doing? Who's on trial here? Let's give me my free cleaning and let me get out of here. Take a spin at the toy chest and be on about my day. I told you that was when I went to the guy. My wife got it on Groupon to go get a cleaning, and I walk in and did you ever hear that story? I got a clean. My wife it's a Petco. <laughs> they they put me on a leash right away. <laughs> Give me one of those greenies to chew on. <laughs> greenies in a muzzle. <laughs> Dental work should never be done on a deal. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's shifty. Yeah, Groupon, what do you want from me? That's Groupon, what I am. Groupon's just real trashy. Man. The bird went through a, a phase of it a couple of years ago. You, you like, can spot people that use Groupon like pigeons. Mm-hmm. When they walk in, do you know they're you there? Show, for dude, a group if you show up to like a restaurant, you got something printed out. It's a bad yeah. look. It's four thirty. You're having dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, we stopped taking Groupon dinners at nine a.m. I apologize. <laughs> I hope you like dinner omelets. <laughs> I hey, the the meatloaf pot- omelet and uh... who had the pot roast scramble? <laughs> <laughs> Trash. Yeah. They tried to bamboozle you, too. I remember They did. Story. They tried to really. Yeah, that's what you get when you use Groupon. You're I paying at the end. I know. And then they said you needed some ultra cleaning or something. No, like something. They tried to give me some sort of like perio, the gum line. periodontist gum line type bullshit. Yeah. And I was like, L- listen. And they sit you down with like a salesman. Like it's a car dealership. That's why I'm a lot, man. They sit you down with a. They sit you Bitch, down with- get me my bubble gum fluoride and zip it. <laughs> oh, man. That stuff, regardless of the flavor, makes me gag. That gets you back at the bottom. Of the, in the back of the tongue, that Man. thing. Yikes. I can feel it now. That's like getting waterboarded. <laughs> After the cleaning, you're going for that. And but I like think I idiot. got a small mouth, too. So, like, all that stuff sucked. Kip, Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile. Mint you like Mobile. saving money? Who don't like saving money? Oh, you don't like saving I money. I said, I'm who sorry. don't? Oh, that's right. That's right. Everyone loves saving money. I don't know who, who this who character is, but I'll tell you who does like saving money. Who dad? Everybody else. Loves it. I know your lady likes to save money. She's a Mint Mobile user for years user. at this point. Way before they were even a sponsor. 15 bucks a month over there at Mint Mobile, gang. Get on it. No contracts. No rigmarole. No nothing. 
Yeah. Straight to the source. And you know who's one of the owners? That Ryan Reynolds. Oh, really? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. shabby. Uh, By going uh, online and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on your nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone, and with any Mint Mobile plan, you keep your same number along with all your existing contacts. It's not like you're starting over from the beginning. It's just an easy, quick switch over. With Mint, if with, you're changing your number, you're trash. Yeah, with Mint Mobile, choose the amount of monthly data that's right for you and stop paying for data you'll never use. Switch with Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 beans a month to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month. One more time, mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. Helix. Helix. You have one. I got one. It's you fantastic. You sleep on it every night, Pop Pop. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. They sent you a free bed. Meanwhile, I'm standing on a cold with nothing. Uh, best bet of my best mattress of my life. Yeah, I feel like an adult finally. Me, and my wife, it's awesome. We signed up, took the two minute quiz, got the Twilight mattress. Don't gotta go to the store. Don't gotta let, roll around on a bed someone else has rolled around on. Talking to some bozo commission guy on working working commission on sales. Kick rocks. Probably wearing that jacket. <laughs> Helix sleep, like we said, takes two minutes. Matches your body type and sleep preference. Uh, for the perfect mattress for you. Yeah. Uh, why would you want to sleep on a mattress that's not right for what you? What are you, an idiot? What are you, a bozo? What are we even talking about What are you doing? Here? They deliver right to the house. So if you're looking for a mattress, take the quiz, order the mattress, your mattress show, and it comes right to your door, ship for free. You don't even have to go to the mattress store ever again like the big man said. Yeah. Just go to helixsleep.com slash garbage, take the quiz, they'll match you with a customized mattress, give you the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty on it, and you get to try it out free for 100 nights. Risk free. They'll even pick it up if you don't love it, but I'm telling you, you will. 100 nights is a lot. They even have time. financing options that are flexible payment plans to make a great night's sleep not too far away. Listen to this the call to action. Get ready. Helix is offering up to $200, 200 <laughs> beans, 200 clams of all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash garbage. One more time, that's helixsleep.com slash garbage. Now back to that show. Back to the show. Sucked. I hated it. <laughs> Small mouth kippy. Dr. Spatafora. <laughs> Can kick rocks. <clears throat> um, but I went in, and then they gave me this hard sell. Hard sell. They sent me down like, yeah. Dude, this was when I'm poor enough. This is like four years ago. I'm poor three years ago. I'm poor enough that I'm using Groupon Dennis. That's where I'm at. And he throws a number at me that was like 48 hundo to get this thing done. With a straight face, too. Yeah, but he's got a mouthful of gear, too. And I'm like, I think he's working these braces off, to be honest with you. <laughs> I think he's upside down in a set of chompers, this guy. This guy's selling spare parts out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting there, I'm like, dude, they got you. Now you're trying to get, it's like a pyramid scheme. For well, me. Kevin, what you want to do is, uh, <laughs> we're six playing Monty. Talking like Kanye. Uh, through the wire. So, um... I was like, I'm fucking out. I'm like, yeah, dude, they still they still hit me up. Hey, just following up. You got to schedule your... I'm just like now in a database. Where I like, can't shake the Mets. I went to fucking one Met game last year. <laughs> fucking emails. They're calling me. I want you to be Mr. Met. They're like, hey, this is Jan from the Mets, uh, you know, the ticket pack. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's how they get you. Nuts. <laughs> fucking sucking us in. <laughs> fucking bullshit. <laughs> Uh, this is from Aaron. Uh, thanks so much for this podcast. It was very sweet. Never had a question read. Ever pulled away with the gas pump still in your car? Yo, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my brother saw a lady just <laughs> right out of the parking lot. You got to be a real ditz to yeah, do that. She was a, she was an old bag, this one. I got to know what, I, was, what was happening. A couple of moms growing up fucking got caught up in that. Now they're detached. I don't know when they started, but they became detachable. Because so many people were just ripping them out, and then like gas was spraying everywhere. It got to the point where it's like a you quick... gotta hit the button, then, and the whole place gets fucking. The Anzel up. system drops. Dude, that's I... over. Then one of those goes off. That'll that's ruin. End game. Dude, that'll ruin the neighborhood. <laughs> 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 fucking dogs, dogs head head to the top of the mountain. Dude, it's like it's like fluorescent. Yeah, it comes out heavy bike. It's too. like a Groupon foam party. Let's pop some Molly and fucking party at the Exxon. Bunch of Zubles fall out or whatever they're called. What are those things called? Those little beads that like plump up in water. No, 
Zubles something? I don't know. It looks like you ate them, though. <laughs> <laughs> the kids do the tricks. They do the things with them all the time. I don't know. Squabbles. They'll fill a whole backyard Wobble up Wobble bobbles. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like weed yourself. <laughs> trying to get that wobble bobble. Orbeez. <laughs> Orbeez. There you go. Sounds like a knockoff Orbeez. <laughs> Come on down to Orbeez. How's the roast beef? Not good. <laughs> not roast beef. <laughs> How's the roast beef? Goat. <laughs> New Orbeez, not roast beef. <laughs> Orbeez, we have some meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's in parentheses. <laughs> yeah, we'll find Reputation. something for you. <laughs> <laughs> Orbeez. <laughs> Orbeez, you're going to leave hungry. <laughs> uh, Orbeez stinks. Orbeez. That was you guys. <laughs> what? That was your generation, wasn't it? Orbeez? Yeah. What's? I thought you were like, no? Orbeez isn't real. What are you, an alien? Yeah, it is, dickhead. They're the little fucking things. Oh, those, I, was you, I was still talking about the, 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 the chain restaurant. We have some investors. Oh, I didn't play with those. No. What? I don't know. Too busy fucking stealing cigs. What are you talking <laughs> what you about? What you were up to? Toby definitely Couple of did. Marb Reds from my dad, counting Marlboro miles. No, that's Gen Z. That's Gen Z shit. That's younger than us. Yeah, oh, that's okay. like TikTokers and stuff. Orbeez and a betta fish. <laughs> oh, we were. My sister had a betta fish. Put them in a bathtub. <laughs> really? <laughs> got in. I got in. He went after my wee wee. <laughs> Spit it back out. <laughs> Peter showed up. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, this one, uh, this is from Tristan, haven't had one ready yet. You guys know, this one's a kind of a softball, I think. You guys know anyone that got a DUI in high school? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had a buddy get two before he turned his license in for the first one. He got his second in his driveway. They don't fuck what? Yeah. Yikes. Mm -hmm. They followed him to his house and pulled into his driveway. That's yeah. fucked up. And he blew under the legal limit, but he wasn't 21. So there is technically no legal limit. We had a buddy who got busted at a party. And he, uh, it's bad. Don't drink and drive out there, kids. Of course. We had, a, we had a buddy that got busted. Um, we all got arrested at a party, mm -hmm. uh, at a house party in the middle of the night my sophomore year. He hid under the bed or something like that, got away. Uh, and we were all at the fucking, at the precinct or whatever. His dad showed up because he had heard there was a party and just assumed that he got busted. Rolled in in a fucking trench coat and his fucking jammies on. Damn. And they were like, oh, I guess we got one loose out there. They picked him up fucking walking down the highway trying to walk home uh. a couple hours later. This old man ratted him out. <laughs> There's my idiot son. <laughs> <laughs> Pull over right here. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That's Dewey's in high school were dangerous. Especially now. Don't get one now. Yeah. Well, like, the, literally Pennsylvania's thing is, like, you... Don't drink and drive. You can't afford it. They really hit me up. <sighs> yeah, they? it's not good. Don't do it. Mm -mm. I do not advise it. Especially uh, wearing that coat. <laughs> <laughs> You've been drinking. You know it. <laughs> I look like a pussy to you. <laughs> it's also like I don't get any more Ubers so easy. Jump in, jump out, leave the car. Not in the fucking the suburbs. I suburbs, there's Uber. I, I know, but I drive by bars and stuff like that that are like the parking lot's filled with I never people. understood that. I'm like, can't a cop be like Just sit across somebody's the street? drinking and driving out? They're not all there for the chicken fingers. You know what I mean? Doing the open mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, all right, this one is from the mayor of Foleyville, same vein. Have you or any, of your ma have you or any member of your family ever been in a high-speed chase? <laughs> You ever ran? I never did. There was a kid growing up. I would freak out. Kid growing up did. He was taking his uh, brother's car, his dad's car or something. It was my brother's buddy when they were like 15. In the middle of the night, he would sneak out, get the car, go pick up all the boys, mm -hmm. right? And like drive around, I guess, smoking cigs, I don't know, weed, whatever. Um, and he went to pick everybody up, but no one went with like nobody could get out. You know what I mean? This is like before cell phones, so like... He would just, like, roll up in front of the house and, like, you know, if you could get him, he could, whatever. So he's he just, like, cruising around by himself, and he got well, he got pulled over for, like, making a, you know, whatever. Something. He got pulled and ran? And took off. Oh. oh like, dude. cop out of the car? Like, I, the cop had made contact? I don't know. I don't, I don't know just that. just taking off on the cop car is one thing. If you get fucking pulled over and then. Well, that's the way. Oh, to, yes, sir, right there. I <laughs> think that's the way to do it. Why, because they're out of the they're car? They're out of the car. You get a head start. I mean, if we're if we're playing for keeps here, I'm playing fucking patty cake. <laughs> Let them get out. You got to run. Hold on. They, they always chase the car for a half a second. Too. Let it. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
Where are my keys? Uh, Yikes! And dude, he went to a whole the whole town. He had everybody. He had like he had a crew. He had like every cop on duty. They were coming in. He had like six cars chasing him. And he finally crashed through the front of. Uh, it just so happened the front of the house of my sister's best friend, <laughs> <laughs> and who we ended up. They like went to school together and knew. Holy shit! Yeah, it was wild. Hey, Mrs. Fielder, how are you? Yeah, one of those. I'll see you at the Danes. <laughs> it's getting tased. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no runners. Nothing yeah. like no, that. That's, that's crazy to yeah. me. Crazy. Scary. I've I, never really been pulled over. I'm not that good of a driver. Oh, I know. So I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Get pulled over for breaking at a green light. <laughs> I can't handle the, the anxiety of that high speed chase. Dude, sometimes. Slow down. I'm trying to run from you. Some, sometimes those, dude, those dudes are so fucking. I saw one on the uh, then the spike strips come out on the BQE. You know where there's no shoulder and it's like it's kind of like 676 in Philly where it's like yeah, it's kind of not underground but like it's like that huge the nowhere walls. to go. There's nowhere to go. There's like fucking 50 foot walls on either side of you. And I'm driving home from a fucking show or something in like Westchester, and uh, it's at night. And this car, like fucking, you know, some like fast fucking Beamer or whatever, is like fucking zigzagging all over the place. And I'm like, holy shit! Like I'm cooking. I'm doing. 70 or so, I'm 60 or 70, and this guy fucking passes me easy work, like it's nothing. Dude, and then I guess he didn't see this cop, and this cop's flying, but they're keeping, like he goes, and then maybe like six seconds later, a cop comes with Just lights tail. off, no headlights on, it's two guys in an SUV, no headlights on, no sirens. Is this like, at night? Yeah, I guess to catch up with, like, I guess their thought is like, if we can get closer and then we'll light them up. Damn. I don't know. It was the dude. They, that's when I was like, I was like, oh, that shit's real. It was a fucking To hear a car and... doing 120 with the lights off, you're like, whoa. Fucking Riggs and Murtaugh in there. <laughs> no. What the fuck? I didn't see him until they passed me. Damn. Like, you get the fucking, the car shakes a little. Yeah, I'm not a high-speed guy. What about you? I'd imagine. He's never I've, driven a car. I've driven a car. <laughs> when? Illegally every time. <laughs> I imagine a couple of your buddies. But you gotta run if you get pulled over. Oh, yeah. No, you don't. You just take the fucking fine. You don't run. Toby, run. You never run. Um, all right, let's see. This one is from Terrence. Uh, do small appliances stay on the counter, the toaster, the blender, or they put away after each use? I don't know which is trashier uh, because my mom puts hers away. And that shelf is usually covered looks, in crumbs. Yeah, the, yeah, that's bad. And we have a nice toaster too. But it looks good out. Like I, you're, there's not cluttered. It's no, a, yeah, it's good. No, there's no clutter. But I don't know. That's a real. That's a real tough question when it comes to that kind of stuff. If you got like a blender out, I mean, you keep like a nice KitchenAid out. But we have, that thing's yeah, all right, but so, that's more of a showpiece. Yeah, so the bird has, she's, you know, into the expensive kitchen appliances. Culinary the arts. The fucking juicers, the, the Breville juicers, the Nutribullet. You can't keep fucking, those out after a couple of uses because oh, they get that film on Well, them. that's typically fucking me cleaning it all the fucking Ugh. time. Um, you got to do that right away. Oh, I know. Otherwise, it's trash. I know. She hasn't been using it recently. Which I don't is care weird. how healthy you are. But she has, like, uh, we bought, like, one of those, like, fucking, bought it on Craigslist. A uh, bunch of cucumber guts everywhere. Oh, man. That stuff <laughs> turns ripe quick, too. It's, it's like, like compost. compost. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> fucking it's, earthworms in the kitchen. I know. Um, Every now and again, you guys sync up like a sorority house, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we're besties. <laughs> Hi, it's Kevin. <laughs> oh, my God, it's me. I got that. I know what's going on out there. Uh, what the fuck were we just talking about? Oh, but breaking news on said Are You Garbage podcast. Go Guess ahead. what I just bought? Air fryer. Yes. Knew it. Yeah. That's where you got the jacket from. <laughs> you were at a goddamn air fryer show. <laughs> I was at an air show. Just an air fryer show. <laughs> the blue fat guys are over there flying everything up. <laughs> the blue fat guys. <laughs> that one guy just did an inverted chicken wing. <laughs> yeah, got the air fryer, but nowhere to put it. We haven't. I haven't you even. You can't leave it those out on the counter. 
They get all greasy and I shit. I know. That's like, I haven't even used That's why yet. I always said toaster ovens were trash, because nobody maintained them. No. After like a, after one summer of fucking, you know. Elios and bagels. Yeah, a yeah. thousand grilled cheese and bagel bites. Uh-huh. That thing was disgusting. Mm-hmm. Looked like Satan's floor. <laughs> no good. It's all right. My dad used to do the tin foil on it, and then you would. Dad at the gets bottom, all at color, the bottom, cluttered up too. No, but at the bottom, and then but that made it easier to clean. At least sure. kept it tighter. Yeah, should we we do the, the tin foil system? I don't like it. I don't like the tin foil system. Well, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to let you know how I feel about said air fryer. You haven't used it yet. Have we got it the same day we got the dog, and it's just been fucking running around, you know. Cleaning up shit and put the dog food in there. (laughs) He likes it in there for three minutes. Couple of milk bones. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you got to put that stuff away. Yeah, but it depends how it looks. But I always felt trashy growing up. Going in and go get the you want to make toast. Get the toaster. You got to go into the closet for toast. Yeah, bad luck. We do keep things in that closet too. There's a couple kitchen items in our coat closet in the front of the house for sure. Oh, She'll go yeah. in every once in a while to get the big pot. Yeah. When you got to get the big pot and the big skillet. Yeah. Yeah. She's digging around in there. Pull out the crock pot. Yeah. It's, it's, got, a, it's got a knitted hat it's in got, it. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's got scarves in it. <laughs> Dude, no shit. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> no, that's go weird. You the, can't be keeping kitchen stuff with non-kitchen stuff. That's too weird. Oh, we me. have stuff out in the fucking garage. Like, we're a catering company. <laughs> when something big pops off. Where are the sternos? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Behind the box of rolls. <laughs> Can't be keeping rolls next to the fucking motor right, oil. Right next to the shock for the pool. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're, out, we're out of salt. Use a little bit of the shock. Just a pinch. <laughs> just a, pin- a pinch of the shock will take care of you. <laughs> What's the secret ingredient in this? Chlorine. It's good. Don't have too much. Uh... That's a tough look. Yeah, I feel if it falls on, if it looks okay, if it's too close, you know, one or two things is okay. A blender, if you got the space for it. Can a I say this? A toaster. Th- on the low, I'm a huge toast guy. Toast? Toast. Huge. Especially at the house mm-hmm. with a fresh thing of butter. Man, they're all getting lined up. Not one empty slot in there. Fucking cherries all across the board. So I <laughs> fat like. Guy, fat guy, fat guy, fat guy, fat guy. I like to use the toaster. Okay. I enjoy a good toaster. Yeah. Maybe lay off the bread. I have been. Why would I believe that? Because I don't have a toaster. You just said I have a toaster. I love oh, making toast. At my, I meant at my parents. I don't have a Man, toaster. The settings on this, the settings on this story really change midway. I feel like I'm in an M Night Shyamalan story. <laughs> Wait, I'm fat. <laughs> the toaster was dead the whole time. <laughs> have you ever done or? No, s- I do have a toaster. <laughs> I don't, know. But I, do, I, I don't know what we're talking about. I we, are, <laughs> we are in Foleyville. No, I do have a toaster. I was telling you an anecdote on, on, the, on the pod, and you immediately jumped on me. It's not what I'm doing now. I'm just saying in general, I appreciate that. doesn't mean that I'm doing it now. That's all. Have you, have you guys seen the move where uh, someone, either you or someone you know has in hot dogs in a toaster? No. That's your thing. Hot dogs in a toaster. Hot dogs in a toaster oven. Oh, hot dogs in a toaster. No, hot that's, dogs in a that's microwave. That's insane. That, Throw a hot dog, two hot dogs in a microwave for a minute. 52 seconds, depending on the wattage. It's not a problem. No, it's fantastic. Fantastic. I'll throw on a fucking... Dude, those Oscar Mayer cheese dogs they, with they the do, cheese in the middle. They do blow up like an old man's nose, though. Some of them, <laughs> you know I mean? some of them get look like they've been drinking too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of them get a case of rosacea. Um, yeah, that's, I mean... I would come home from school, high school or junior high, two of them in the two of them on a paper plate, hit the easy minute button, right? Get the two Martin's potato hit the fat kid button. I <laughs> get the two Martin's potato buns out. Fucking put them on throw them on the thing after the minute and they throw a fucking hand two handfuls of fucking goldfish <laughs> on the side of that plate. Two cans of Coke called a fucking two day. episodes of Inspector Gadget <laughs> and I'm golden. More of a TRL kind and of guy. And four more years of virginity. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the four hot, more. Each hot dog's four more years of virginity. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here's your four more years of jerking off in the peanut butter. <laughs> what was your protocol? What was the, uh, was there a defense system for uh, incoming phone calls at your house when you were a child? Were you, was there a script of what to say? My dad was never, never in there. <laughs> never. I mean, mainly there's a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, for legal purposes, he wasn't. 
It was, I'm not here. I'm not here. Every time. I would like to the, the point where the phone would ring. If he didn't say something, I'd go, Dad, are you here? <laughs> no, I'm not here. Yeah, ah, he's not here. All right. It'd be like his brother. He'd be like, I'm not I'm, I'm like, oh, hey, Uncle Bill. And thinking of my dad's like, I'm not here. I'm not here. Yeah. That, 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 they don't even answer the phone in my mom's anymore. They don't even answer it. I don't even know if it's on. Really? I don't think the ringer is on. It comes up on the TV because it's through Comcast, too, which annoys the shit out of them. Typically for years. And also, I did them real dirty. For years, it was all of my creditors calling the house. Ouch. Every single one of them. I'm talking student loans. I'm talking Amex. I'm talking Macy's. They say he doesn't live here? Yeah, but they go, I don't give a fuck. It's just some guy in a fucking call center. He's like, yeah, of course you're going to say he doesn't live here. That's what they all say. I'm not fucking taking your word for it. You're deadbeat. I can smell that fat bastard from here. <laughs> he's, he's making hot dogs. I can hear him. <laughs> Well, why do I hear goldfish shaking around like <laughs> dice? I'm in the back. I'm not here. Um, yeah, so I really fucked them. Really, like oh, it was like God. it was like terrorized. Like I mean, six a day, seven a day. If for, I got for, one, if I got five years, one of those at the house, she's on the phone. And my, what they're calling here, looking for you. Amex called. This is bad. Amex called my sister in law's mother, asking for Kevin Ryan. Wow. Yeah, I got a call from my, I get a text from my brother. Do you have an Amex? Who's working at Case Columbo? What the? <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> they had exhausted every resource. <laughs> Holy shit. I got interviewing your teachers and shit. I got a text from my brother going, do you have an Amex card? Not in the sense, like, you could read the tone. wasn't like, let's be Amex buddies. This was a what the fuck are you It wasn't you a you have an Amex, right? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. We're Amex friends. Did you have an Amex card? Is that what Yes. Do you, have a, do you have a pass due Amex card? Because they're currently looking for the 400 beans. Holy fuck. Yeah. Calling Jesus. For 400 bucks, embarrassing me in front of my in-laws for $400. <laughs> Buddy, I'll get it to you. What do you want? Four hundred dollars. Amex needs my four hundred dollars. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was two hundred dollars, and they fucking they juiced me. Probably got two out of the ant too. Can't catch a fucking break around here. That's trash. <laughs> Good lord. Not my finest moment. Now I can't see her without. Oh, feeling yeah. like a complete, complete. That's a mother-in-law too. Say it again. Your my si- my sister-in-laws. My brother's mother. wife's mother. Wow. So it'd be like... How many times have you met this woman? Enough. For her to know I'm a dirtbag. <laughs> I mean, the creditors calling her house didn't like, know. What are they, have pictures with you two together? I don't understand how they, how they make that connection. You're really married into a great family. <laughs> <laughs> What's your social security number? <laughs> I'm at the wedding. I'm at the wedding writing down credit card numbers. <laughs> Let me see. I'm putting together a scrapbook for the kids. I'll need all the kids' socials. They're about to buy some property. Uncles are walking up to your brother. It's really great. Your brother's running that coat check. He's like, what? what? <laughs> I never heard of a wallet check at a, at a wedding before. So your brother works for MasterCard, huh? <laughs> Man, I was a loser for a real... I still am as I'm sitting here wearing this jacket. Man, I was a loser for a really long time. <laughs> Yeah, until you took it home at the Winston Cup. Uh, <laughs> we're a PBR. We're, we're a Marlboro family. Who doggy. Can we go to a NASCAR race? Yeah, for sure. There's so much Can you much get fun. us in? Yeah, I'll get, I'll, get you in fucking, I'll get you in pit lane. I'll get you in the infield. You just got to show your titties. <laughs> please be 18. Please be 18. <laughs> I'd want to do it right. One of those Winnebago's out there in the middle yeah, of the field. We can do it. Yeah? Yeah. Fireworks and shit? What? Okay. I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah, maybe we can get the pace car, pull some strings. Get the fuck out of here. do that. You can't get in the... I'm not saying I can pull strings. Man, this jacket has gone to your head. <laughs> There's no way you're getting us in the pace car. Not off anybody. I'm saying Driving I'm sure we it? can make some sort of donation or something. Get us in there. Hmm. I don't know anybody who can get us in a pace I car. I want to do the flag. That's not what I was implying. I want to do the flag. Oh, that was the big thing. I used to have fucking... We were racing the house. So I had the checkered flags. Thought you were so fucking cool. Whipping it down. White flag, last lap, I think. Forget. The checkered flags. Real hillbilly shit. Bad. Shout out to Flemington Raceway. Home of the dirt bags. <laughs> that jacket stinks. <laughs> Ooh. We'll get used to it, Fatty. It's coming on tour this week. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Let's do one or two more and then get out of here. This one's just funny. This is Jared. Uh, ever watch two years worth of Patreon content in two months because tax time is the only time you had extra cash? Ah, buddy, do what get, you got to do, baby. Game the system. I'm all about do it. Do what you got to do. This one, I don't. I literally don't. It's it. Uh, this is from Tool. Have you Tool? I guess. Have you ever worn goggles in the shower so you don't have to close your eyes and give the monsters a chance to get you? <laughs> 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 buddy, you gotta see. You gotta. You gotta check out BetterHelp.com. <laughs> but I do get it. I get it in the sense that of... That shower curtain can be a little sketchy. I have never washed my hair in complete comfort at any stage of my life, even now when I'm in there. I'm not fucking in Vidal Sassoon land. I got fucking my eyes in the back. I'm on my six. Now, let me ask you this in the shower. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what are you... What's the door situation? Are you closing and locking the door fully? You open? You cracked? What are you doing? Like the door to the bathroom. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't lock the bathroom door. If you did. That would be suspect, yeah. I would assume. Yeah, well, That's, that playing was, a little patty cake in That there. was always suspect in my house growing up. Locking the bathroom, even if you, the bathroom door? No. What if you're in there taking a boom boom? You, you, everybody knows you're in there, I'm taking, I'm, I'm in the bathroom. So let's just say you were sitting they, around we were, watching TV, you have to go, hey guys, I want to go take a deuce. We were knock first, we were knock first people. When, if, if I was in the shower... And Patty knocked on the door, and she couldn't get in to get her tweezers or whatever she had to get to. Oh, you locked the door. Blah, blah, blah. Then you got to get out. You're wet. Hey, hey. Uh, I just had to Pushes ch- it open. Oh, yeah. You're doing that. What? That's crazy. She's trying to get her fucking hairspray. Get the fuck out of here. Wow. There's no privacy like that. Now, nah. we're well, older. I mean, if I was down if there. You went, if you went into your parents' house now to shower. You can I'd lock, lock the, the door. door. Yeah, yeah. Now I can. Oh, yeah, forty six. Look at you, <laughs> <laughs> big man on campus, locking the door. Hey, Ma, I'll do whatever I want. I can beat her up now. <laughs> you when I was that. a kid, she was a tough cookie. I'll tell you that. Damn. Got a fucking right hand on her. Look at wow. Put you, put you to sleep. That's crazy. Oh yeah. And now, you know, in my in my apartment, I you know, not worried. No, I think that would be. Uh. A sign of distrust or something like that if I lock the door. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. I know she's not coming in the way I'm fucking doping. But in the shower, see what happens. You know what I mean? But you got to brush your teeth and stuff like that. Now, no no, no locking of the doors. Yeah. Bedrooms, neither. They knew As what you were doing. As a kid? Were... No. Oh, yeah. You couldn't lock your bedroom door. And they're defiling myself. Yeah. So I had to work under the cover of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I was taught to look over my shoulders early in life. Jesus Christ. Keep it quiet. Yeah, I mean, not locking the bedroom doors, I totally get, but we were able to lock our bathroom door. Plus, well, we had a... The, my mom you had a had, sister, too, though. My mom had the... the bed. My mom locked it growing up. She wouldn't lo- <laughs> Could you do that now? <laughs> I'd pop in there and sneak a peek. <laughs> uh, See what the Bible's talking about. But my about. mom had her own bathroom, and then the kids had one. What'd you say? See what the Bible was talking about. I meant Adam and Eve because they were naked. I don't know shit about the Bible. I thought they were fucking moms. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Freud, y'all done? <laughs> uh, all right, let's wrap it up. Gang. We love yous. We're on tour right now. Yes, we are. We got new dates coming. New dates coming. They're probably announced by this point. Uh, the West Coast. A couple of cities on the West Coast will be coming to town. It's going to be fun. Yes. So come out and see us. We have a great time. Bring the squad. Bring the gang. We love you very much. Peace. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.